Hello magical friends! Welcome to the channel Unbox with Magical Mel. I'm Melody and this is where I collect all things magical, especially Harry Potter items. And today, I've got a very, very exciting thing to unravel. I came home to this very magical box by the Wizarding Trunk. Yes, so I told myself, Melody, you're not gonna have dinner first, you're gonna open this first. Anyways, without further ado, let's get the magic started. Okay guys, so this box is such a cute box, I don't know how else to explain it, because it's just filled with stems. And I was trying to like peel it off, like, I was like, whoa. They're really generous with their stamps, but they're actually printed on. Like, oh, I can't show you my address, but look, they're actually printed on. It's crazy. I love this. And you know what makes me sad? Like, okay, so I don't have a lot of space where I live. Um, it's really, really expensive to rent a place here in Singapore, so I don't have a huge space. And usually I don't keep, like, boxes but this one this one's hard for me to not want to keep <sighs> man i'm conflicted because so sometimes i just feel like don't give me good wrappings or boxes because i would want to keep it oh wizarding trunk guess i gotta try to see if i can keep this amazing box anyways um so this box like i said is filled with stamps all around and over here it says magical post and then here is like all the stamps and here it says fragile magical delivery i think this is what the potter collector says is fragile um i am a huge huge um follower of the potter collector as well um and also here it says i do hope we've put enough stamps on <laughs> um yes you guys definitely did um, and I and I can't wait to just look at each of these stamps because I think every one of them is unique and different. There's like a squid, um, like skunk, Eiffel Tower, clowns, Barbados, cheese, and sardines or something, and owls, goldfish, squirrel. Guys, this is like, I think every single one is different. What? They're all different. I don't know if this is going to be like the same box for the next one or they have a different one every time. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm spending a lot of time just talking about the box. So let's get into what's inside the box, shall we? All right. So let's open it up your way so you can see but you probably it's going to be filled with wrappers so yep that's right um okay so the front says quarterly special edition okay so i shifted things around so there's a bit more space so let's see what's here okay. Ooh, all right i see a shirt <laughs> Hmm, should I like change into the shirt like what the Potter Collector usually does it? Maybe I should. So, let's see. This is a, oh, what? No way. Oh my gosh, this is the back of the shirt. It's the Norwegian dragon. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. So it says a Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary. I guess maybe it's the one that's set up by Charlie. You know, because he's a dragon brother <laughs> in the Weasley family. Um, yeah, let's change into this magically. <laughs> I love it. It is so comfortable. So it has the Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary emblem here, and then at the back, 
go. So I'm only 4'11". Um, so it does run a little bit bigger for me because, um, yeah, I'm short. And I got an S, so I think that's just like the smallest size they have. So I actually had to fold this up twice because I'm just petite. <laughs> Anyways, it's super comfortable and yeah, love it. All right, next item. We've got the keys. Um, right, let's see. This is a really chunky one. It says Ford Anglia. These are the keys to the Ford Anglia? So this is probably um, the Weasley's key, like to the Ford Anglia. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's very, very heavy too. This is like heavy duty keys. <laughs> that is cool. Okay, next one. We have a, oh, is this like, oh, so this is the Wizardry Workshop's creation. Okay. It's called Magical Pets. Wait. No. it's so hard it's like my stress ball mm, cutest creature alive that's what it says it is it is it is oh my gosh look at those big blue eyes oh my god I pick me path I have to name him or her maybe bubbles because it kind of reminds me of the of bubbles or power path girls because of that blue and that big blue eyes. Well, I'll call you Bubbles for now. Welcome to the family. Next, I'm just gonna put Bubbles back into the box. I don't have a lot of space here. Okay, next, hmm. All right, let's do this one. Recipe. Oh, wow, it has a lot of, what? So, it has recipes for like orange squash drink, sausage rolls, shepherd's pie, cauliflower cheese, mashed potatoes, trickle tart. What? I am so curious. I think these are all legit recipes. I will try one of these days to actually do it okay because I do have a lot of baking um, stuff and cooking items in my kitchen although I don't use it a lot I'm sharing kitchen with other people so I don't cook that much but I have to try this one day you know what guys I think this is a Weasley box it does definitely feel like it's a Weasley's box um, okay so this one is garden in transit lost home Mortal Peril Work School. What is this? What? Wait. Okay, it looks like a dial. Oh! It's, um... Wait, is it the clock? Like the family clock. Like the one that they have in a Weasley home. Oh, oh shoot, I pulled it too hard. The styrofoam. Oh, okay, it's coming out. Oh no. What is. Oh! <gasps> oh! What? Oh! This is. Okay, the paint's coming out from the. You can see the paint. It's... Oh, I can smell the paint too very fresh <laughs> no this is the Weasley's family clock um it's very freshly painted in a way because I can still feel that it's sticky oh wow that is cool I don't know what am I gonna do with this but it will look very nice on a display shelf if I find a place for it but here you go. Um, 
it's just like a sticker and like for the dial I think it doesn't move or anything so um, yeah I guess it's not bad um, I mean this is my first Weasley's family clock so yeah it's good I don't have anything else to compare it with so I'm gonna put it here <laughs> so let's see what's next okay let's do this one first um, Magical recipes for all occasions. Kitchen rich. Magical recipes. Okay, more recipes? How many are we going to cook? All right, so. Oh, okay. So it has indexes. So like you can sort of separate out your the types of recipes you have. They've got beverages, appetizers, entrees. Um... And you have a lot more blank um, recipe cards here that you can put your own special recipes here. Oh, I wish like I'm great with cooking so I can cherish this and use this. But maybe one day as I grow older and mature into a very domesticated woman, I would eventually use these. <laughs> oh, whoa, there's... There's um thing uh, writing inside. Compliments of the kitchen witch chef. Ramona Gorton invites you to try her many favorite recipes, one of which will be found in every package of kitchen witch cake flour. Look for the recipe titles stamped on the package. Distributed by Gorton Burn and Co. Ireland, manufacturers of kitchen witch foods. Maybe like you have to buy like the ingredients and they've got recipes on it or something. I don't know. Next, this one is like a blind box. Right, and the rest are just all the sheets I can see there. <gasps> what is, wait, is that a potion? What? What is this? Socks? Did Mama Weasley? <gasps> Wait, mittens! <gasps> what? No! <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's a kitchen mitten, I think. Oh my goodness, and it fits perfectly. You know like how most mittens are like huge? But this one's just like perfect sized. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I don't know what else is in here. Let's see. There's something heavy here. Oh, it's a potion. It... <gasps> Bruce remover. What? Oh my gosh. That is a huge bottle of bruise remover for an accident prone person and it's definitely by Fred and George I assume from the um, Weasley's Weezer Weezer Weezes I always struggle with that name um, Wow I love these. I don't think it's gonna, oh no, it actually does the swirlies. It does. Oh, it's gorgeous. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna take, get away from the light there so you can see. Oh, it swirls, it swirls. That is cool. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Oh my god. I think I've got styrofoam in my yep. Yep, that's uh, styrofoam in my hair. So I'm a bit late with um the subscription boxes, so I don't have a lot of these pages. So these are the magical creatures A to Z. Um unfortunately I don't have the previous one. There's like a lot of paper replicas. Confidential, magical bites. Oh, okay. So, I guess this is like from the Ministry of Magic, and then it's a case file, I assume. And it says name confidential, 
ward, magical bites, and infectious attacks. So I guess this is from Arthur Weasley's work. Oh, and I just realized, I think, yeah, I think this one, so this is probably Arthur Weasley's, like, Ford Angler keys to go to his office here, because I see, like, a little M.O. or something I can't see because my eyes are really bad. I think these are the keys to his work, which is the Ministry of Magic. So let's open this case file up. All right, wow, okay, a lot of words. Um, patient was attacked by a werewolf, 26 years old. Um, a lot of words, a lot of words. And they're beautifully done. Yep, uh, wow, I'm gonna read this later. So you've got like the general condition, anomalies, injuries, treatment administered, healers, notes, and then you've got like the dates um, just to see, you know, this, I guess the status of how he or she is healing up, like all the dates here. Um, it's like a log. Oh, and then there's this uh, discharge notice. So this person eventually got uh, discharged. Yay. Great, wow, it's like a legit case file here. <clears throat> I'm gonna read that later. I'm gonna read it to you guys. It's gonna take all night. All right, um, next, what is this? Oh, there's a pin. <gasps> oh, a big head boy badge. I guess we know who this, who this belongs to. Probably Percy. I know that Bill was also the head boy, but yeah. Oh, this is really nice. Look at that. It's really nicely made. Let me pick it out from the wrapper here. Yep. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's kind of like the prefect batch that we got before. But this is a big head boy one. All right. And next is... What it, oh, it's the Weasley's home. And that's the found. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Look, I'm going to do close ups of this later, but it's the Weasley's home. It's so cozy and homey. Oh, that's so nice. All right, next is. Oh, this is the garden where, and there are little gnomes. Oh. oh, wow, I love these, oh my God. Do you see the gnomes? I can see it in the garden somewhere there. Like there's one here, that little tiny dude there, and there's one there, I think, yeah. Oh, that is so, so nice. Oh, I love these. I love these so much. And then what else? Oh, that's it. And, um, okay, so this is a cheat sheet. Oh, and there's like, there's like a lot of stems too, everywhere. I think I can use this to display somewhere and like write my name here, I believe. I'm not sure what's this for, but it looks like that. And there are actually more stems on the inside of the box too. Like, they definitely went all out with the stems. Okay, cheat sheet. The wizarding child presents everyone's favorite wizarding family. The first thing is kitchen witch recipe holder. Keep all your favorite recipes in one place. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. It's a TWT exclusive. So that is this one. Number two, hand knit mittens. A pair of mittens to match your scarf. Created by self knitting needles. TWT exclusive. My scarf. Does it match my scarf? Well, I guess. I guess you've got all the house colors here. You've got green for Slytherin, sort of like red, but it's not even red, it's orange. And then there's like bluish here, Ravenclaw, and then there's like yellow for Hufflepuff, but I don't know how it will match my scarf. Anyways. 
garden gnome creature page. The garden gnome and, and goal page from Magical Creatures A to Z, written by TWT, designed by Wizardry Workshop, TWT exclusive. Set of keys. Yep. These keys will get you into your car and work. Yeah, to yeah to Arthur Weasley's workplace, designed for us by JP Mistlecrow, TWT exclusive. Um, Dragon Sanctuary shirt picked up on your travels to Norway. This shirt was designed for us by Here Be Monsters, TWT exclusive. Patented bruise remover removes bruises from the skin, particularly caused by magical mischief. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary, TWT exclusive. Family clock displays everyone's location at all times. Clock designed by JP Mistlecrow and clock face by Wizardry Workshop, TWT exclusive. Inside the magical ho magical home, see how many of these boxes items are on. What? Wait, hold on. See how many of these boxes items are on this print, created for us by JP Mistlecrow, TWT exclusive. No, it's like a spot it thing. Okay, this is crazy. So I can see the keys. I saw okay I can I can spot the keys here I can spot the pygmy puff here oh my gosh I love this so much it's like a game um, and then there's the the mittens up here the family clock of course um, let's see what else can I spot I don't really oh magical recipes yep this magical recipes over here and then what else? The potion. Let's see if you can find the bruise potion. If you guys have this box and you found the potion, please let me know. I can see like there's this box here. And then there's a like a thing here. I don't know if it's a potion. Anyways, I'm spending too much time here, guys. I need to move on. Yes, I'm going to take a look at this closely later on. All right, next, magical medical chart. Details the events after a patient's werewolf attack. Okay, so this one. Um, written by the Wizarding Trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop, 2WT exclusive. Big head boy pin. This head boy pin has been tempered with. Designed in-house, 2WT exclusive. Been tempered with, why? How is it being tempered with? I don't know. Garden view print. Give us a view into the garden. Look closely. You may spot gnomes. Yep, it did. Designed by Queen Map, TWT exclusive. And the best one, I think, for me is the cutest creature alive. Which color did you receive? I got the blue. TWT exclusive. Now, I'm very, very curious. Like, what other colors do they have? Oh, I think I know. There's like the pink one and the purple one. Oh, I would have liked the purple one. But... The blue works. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. All right, and it says all custom packaging designed by Wizardry Workshop. Next quarterly box theme characters we love to hate. I would like to get like Umbridge stuff. I think for the next one. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of Umbridge stuff, but oh my goodness. I love this box so so much um, in terms of my favorite I think I like po I just love potions I love love potions at the pygmy pop of course potion um, I think this are my top two that's for sure um, I guess my least favorite would be um, I don't know like they're not bad bad like I you know this is a good one I don't have anything to compare it with so um, this one's pretty you know like a good uh, sort of paper replica um, I don't know well I guess if I have to pick maybe like this recipe one because I don't really cook that much but yeah and also I don't really care too much about keys to be honest I don't quite know what to do with them but um, yeah that's what I think and I can't wait to find a place to display my these items like look at my shelves they're packed 
Anyways, guys, I hope that you like it as much as I did, and I hope you're having a great week ahead. And like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you've not subscribed already. Click on the bell if you want to know when I next upload. Um, till then, stay magical, and I'll see you in the next one.